What's going on, Vault Dwellers? It's Top Ranking Noob, and I'm back at it again with another helpful video for Fallout 76. And hey, if you guys want to check out some cool Fallout 76 gear, make sure you head over to U4MG. I'm going to be putting a link to their website down in the description, along with a coupon code that's going to save you 5%. It's December 11th, and it's officially patch day for Bethesda. They patched out Fallout 76 and addressed several issues, one of which was caps, addressed several exploits that could allow players to gain caps more quickly than intended. Now that sounds good on paper, but what do you guys say we put this patch note to the test? I'm going to throw on my cap collector perk card and head on over to the Nuka-Cola plant. Alright, so here we are at the Nuka-Cola plant. By now, I'm sure you guys know where it's at. Uh, so the reason why I'm coming to the Nuka-Cola plant is because this location has been the least affected by the prior patch from December 4th. Uh, here you can see uh, I'm trying the unlimited weight, carry weight glitch. It's not working anymore. They do got that patched. So yep, this was shot just this morning. Let's go see what we can come up with here. Um, so, so I've ran this several times after the December 4th patch. I've only found where like one cap stash has been removed. So, uh, I mean, it's still a pretty solid run. Uh, when I first uh, discovered this location and posted it, uh, it wasn't the, the, the biggest hit because of the distance between the cap stashes. But with the Morgantown train yard being gone, uh, you know, White Springs no longer being valuable, uh, it's really turned the Nuka-Cola plant into probably one of the better resources for cap stash farming. Let's head on inside. There hasn't been a lot of change to my run, uh, unless I equip my jetpack, which I finally did get. Uh, this, uh, this run can be a lot smoother with a jetpack. I'm not using it in this case because I don't want to assume that you do have a jetpack. I am going to, uh, I am going to use my marsupial though, because why not? We'll hop back up here, and we got cap stash number two chilling. Now while I'm in here, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if it's even worth uh, getting one of them on the roof. I got my uh, I got my fortune finder perk card, so I can hear cap stashes. Uh, I can't get up there. Uh, up there is another uh, cap stash that you have to get through through the roof, and it's through a level three lock pick. It might not be worth it if you don't hear it while you're already here. Let's see here. See, I got my fortune finder. And so since I'm already in here, I'm just going to listen to see if I can hear that cap stash. If I can hear it, I'll grab it up. If I can't hear it, well, then it's just not worth our time. All right. So once we determine whether that cap stash is up there, we'll head outside and go to the roof. All right. So as I mentioned, this run hasn't changed much at all. Cap stashes are still in the location. So our same location, so what's the point in changing the route, right? Stick with what works. Uh, after this, I'll do a second run and see if we can still get to uh, actually farm this. And uh, I'll throw on my jetpack and show you guys how to speed this run up a little bit with a jetpack on. Assuming that you got it, of course. I don't keep my jetpack equipped just because I have this Tesla power armor chess piece, which does a good job in damaging these guys while I'm picking locks. Just like this. Dude's already halfway dead. Not that I couldn't have one-shotted him anyways. Alright, so we still got cap stash located here, and two in the desk. Nice. A couple extra caps never hurt nobody. That's fast travel money. Now, <clears throat> this is where lock picking comes into place. I only have so much in perception, so I actually got to drop my fortune finder perk card, slap on my other lock pick, and let's see if I can do this without breaking 51 bobby pins. If it's a level 1 or level 2 uh, lock pick, I'll just pick it and see if the cap stash is in there. But level 3s are just such a pain. Come on. Once we get in there, we get yet another load screen. Yay! We can avoid this entirely if we have the jetpack equipped, and I'll show you what I mean in the second run here. Cool. Cap stash number, what is this, four? 
Seems like we're doing all right. I don't see where uh, the the patch really had a huge impact so far. So far, but we still have to uh, do a server hop and test it for a second run. That's what makes the magic work. Otherwise, you know, we can only do this run once. And I'm not sure if that's really worth our time. I mean, you could get a few extra hundred caps, a couple extra hundred caps, a few extra hundred caps, just depending on your luck. But the magic is in the grind here. All right, so we're going to run to the end of this building. La -dee -da, -dee da And we still got this cap stash here, too. So, I, I mean, so far, I haven't seen where they really changed Nuga Cola since the last patch. In fact, I'm going to go... Before I log out, I'm going to go check something out. I'm going to go inside real quick. Let me edit this. I'm going to see if that other cap stash that was taken out is still there. Ooh, and just like that, we're inside. I figured you guys didn't want to run. Uh, watch me run back inside. So there was a cap stash uh, before the December 4th uh, patch that I haven't been able to find. But since I'm having such good luck here, I figured we'd check it out. And check that out. That cap stash is back. I didn't show this in the run because I haven't seen that in forever. And that's an extra 82 caps right there. Nice. Man, so, uh, you know, I wonder what they did with this patch. I'm not seeing where they really changed it, at least not in this area. I'll grind some more areas and see what else I can find. But in the meantime, let's see if we can log out and log back in and do another cap stash run. All right, we're back at our loading point here. Got to give you guys a thumbs up for sticking through this. Uh, this time I'm going to show you a little bit of a uh, jetpack friendliness. But first I'm going to show you... Uh, yep, see? Still no uh, unlimited carry weight patch, so we're still on December 11th. Basically, I got a leg piece that gives me an extra 50 carry weight. If I decided to use that patch, it made life a lot easier than just an extra 5 carry weight from a pocketed item. I am glad they patched it, though. People went overboard with it. Honestly, I might have gone over like a couple hundred pounds here and there for a short period of time. All right, so far so good. We got cap stash number one here. But uh, I've went into like nuke zones with people that were having like a thousand, two thousand carry weight, and it would just crash the server. It was ridiculous. So no good deed goes unpunished. It's probably for the best that they patched that usually for the best when they patch most of those glitches. All right, so let's see what else we can come up with. I'm going to check that uh, location where I got lucky and found the that cap stash I haven't seen in a while. If I can get in this door. This door is a serious obstacle if you got marsupial, by the way. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to be getting lucky twice. But, oh well. I mean, so I did see that it does, in fact, appear there again. So I'll be sure to keep an eye out anytime I do this run moving forward. Like I said, I hadn't seen it since the December 4th patch. I was thinking it was the only cap stash that was removed from this run. Uh, let's platform up here, which is awesome. Do, 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 do. All right. See, these cap stashes are still appearing. So they may have patched other areas, but it still looks like the Nuka Cola plant is untouched. Now, this is where I said, of course, we got our fortune finder card. Uh, I don't think I re-equipped it since I picked that lock upstairs. But if we got a uh, if we got a jetpack, which in this case I do, uh, we can just fly up there, and I don't have to pick that lock at all. Way more of a efficient run, assuming that I can actually get up there. Now that I'm running my mouth off about it, uh, that just saves me on picking a level three lock. And of course, it's one less load screen that I got to worry about because I can just get to the roof through here. In this case, there's no uh, cap stash here, but that's all right. Um, we'll go upstairs and see what else we can find. So just by having that jetpack, I mean, that probably slices off close to a minute from the run, simply because I don't have to go through the load screen, run upstairs, pick that level three lock, and go into another load screen, come back out of the load screen, and continue the run, so on and so forth. Of course, now I don't have that 
some Tesla armor piece, which just kind of zaps these guys. A lot of the times when I load and there's uh, Scorched or something hitting me, uh, if they're low enough level, my, my chest piece will basically murder them before I can even move. I hate that there's such a delay between loading and being able to swing. All right, Cap Stash is here. So we're doing all right. I, I, I think this is still going to be a very profitable run all in all for you guys that are looking for Cap Stash grinds. Let's see if the last one is here. Been getting pretty lucky so far. I hear it. Look at that. All right, so it's December 11th. They patched it. Uh, they said that they, uh, they, they nerfed this down in the patch notes, but at least for Nuka-Cola, it seems still pretty profitable. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'm going to be grinding some other ears to see what else I can find. We'll see you all next time.